Keep it down. We are on. Uh, I want to thank the Joint Budget Committee sponsors of this exciting bipartisan bill to support use of open educational resources, saving students money on textbooks. I want to thank Representative Herod, Representative McCluskey, Senator Rankin, Senator Hansen. Open educational resources simply save students money on textbooks, which then make um, the access more affordable for families to community college and college. Open educational resources also promote high quality, equitable learning experiences in the classroom. So far, the Open Educational Resource Program at the Department of Higher Ed has awarded grants to 25 colleges and universities, trained more than 120 open education ambassadors, with materials that now reach more than 40,000 enrolled students that has saved those students $4 million on textbook costs, and of course benefit from innovative teaching, learning practices that the uh, effort around open educational resources also can unlock. This includes a renewal of the Department of Ed Open Educational Resources Grant Program, which offers a million dollars annually in grant funds that can save students several times more than that. What a great investment. Investing a million, saving students several million, three, four, five million, hopefully even more on textbooks. Uh, we were also proud last year to welcome Colorado's first Z degree program, zero textbook cost degree program, uh, and we hope to see even more of those in the future. Uh, it's a top priority of the work at the Department of Higher Education to make uh, college and community college more affordable, and I'm proud to turn it over to our executive director of the Colorado Department of Higher Education, Dr. Angie Pachoni. Thank you, Governor Polis, and I'm very excited to be here for the signing of Senate Bill 21215. First, I'd like to thank Senators Hansen and Rankin and Representatives Herod and McCluskey for sponsoring the bill. And I'd also like to thank the legislature for their leadership in continuing to fund and accelerate the use of open education resources across Colorado. I would also like to acknowledge my colleague, Spencer Ellis. He's our Director of Educational Innovation. He's uh, watching online, I believe and the OER Council for their work in elevating OER and managing the grant program over the last two years. We have with us today members of the council, including uh, Jamie Hend Hendren. Jamie is here from CU, the CU system. Um, Jonathan Ports, where are you, Jonathan? He's behind me, okay. From the CSU Pueblo. CSU Pueblo is the first four-year institution to have a zero degree in Spanish, and that means if you want to major in Spanish and get a degree in Spanish at CSU Pueblo, you do not have to pay for textbooks from freshman year all the way through. <laughs> Very excited about that. We also have Brittany Dudek and Tina Pars Parscal from the CCCS, Colorado Community College System. They are here, they have many degrees already, so we're excited about that as well. Um, we, we know that the cost of college or technical school in Colorado still remains a barrier for many Coloradans. We also know that textbooks are a significant expense. There are students who choose not to pursue a degree because of the cost of the textbooks for that degree. That's just not right. In the first two years of the program, 96% of the eligible institutions have received funding, helping to create a statewide ecosystem of more than 120 open education ambassadors, championing the work on their campuses. As the governor said, nearly $4 million have been saved by students without having to pay for textbooks. That is remarkable in just two years. This has increased the capacity and implementation of OER as a key feature for affordability in Colorado. We want to thank you. We have two uh, representatives with us to uh, give some remarks. And I just want to end with saying, you know, earlier today we um, talked about early childhood and a new agency, the new department being formed. 18 years later, I hope that these students, these young kids, won't have to pay for textbooks. It will be a thing of the past, and that all of their courses will be offered through OER for their course materials. Uh, this bill allows us to build on that momentum, and we want to thank all of you, and I will introduce Representative Julie McCluskey next. Thank you, Dr. Piccioni. I have to start by thanking you and your amazing uh, leadership and team at the Department of Higher Education for remaining so committed, not only to OER, but to reducing the barriers that prevent students from completing degrees, from 
from pursuing their dreams and really becoming a, a, an important and viable part of Colorado's workforce. Governor Polis, thank you for your support. Thank you for your push on all of us to remain innovative and creative. You know, I was working for Lieutenant Governor Joe Garcia nearly a decade ago when the Colorado Master Plan came forward, a commitment from leadership in this state to see more individuals earn a post-secondary credential. That credential could be a certificate. It could be an associate's degree, a four-year degree. It could be a graduate degree. But for so many of our citizens, cost remains a barrier. Our state needs to do better. We need to invest more funding in higher education. I am so proud that I work alongside people on our JVC, Representative Herod here today, who has, shares that same commitment, helps all of us focus on equity. The senators who are not here today, but a part of our JVC team, that too raise up the importance of funding for higher education and making sure that we support students in being able to really realize their dream by earning that credential. As was said earlier, more than 40,000 students have been able to participate in programs that OER has um, provided free resources, free textbooks. I want to thank and lift up the faculty who are making that possible. You know, it's one thing for us to put a million dollars into a grant program to help fuel the work, the hard work that comes along with developing those resources, but it's really the hearts, minds, and energy of our faculty and all of our institutions across the state that are making that real. So thanks to all of them. Again, thanks to my colleagues, thanks to our governor. I'd love to see Colorado lead the way on how we reduce those barriers to helping all Coloradans achieve their dreams in their career and ultimately in life. Thanks, I'd love to introduce my um, co-conspirator, uh, <laughs> Representative Leslie Herod. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm State Representative Leslie Harris. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, Governor, thank you for your commitment to this issue. I'm gonna tell a quick story um, that I, I can't not share when we're talking about higher education and Governor Polis. Um, so for those of you guys who can come back in time with me a little bit, um, I was a young student at the University of Colorado at Boulder, and we had just found out about this new platform called Facebook that was in beta, and we were all on the World Wide Web. And we had a lot of conversations. Oh, we also love Napster, okay, you guys remember? We were having conversations about why we had to spend so much money on books that quite frankly, as a student like myself, who was working two jobs and being a student leader, couldn't afford. Um, and how quickly they were out of date, and we couldn't really share them. So we thought, why can't we just go online and get the information that we need? Well, it was blocked. We couldn't do that. It didn't make any sense to us. And so when me and my co-conspirators at the time, Steve Sinberg, Jonah Goose, left college, we decided that we were going to start an organization that advocated for the students. That organization is called New Era Colorado. And our first supporter and believer in the student voice is now Governor Jared Polis. <laughs> And I gotta tell you, his commitment to the students of Colorado has never wavered. This bill is not about institutions or turf wars or anything like that. It's really about making sure that students have access to good quality education that they can afford. And one of those huge expenses that is on the backs of students and families is our textbooks and educational resources. So I'm so glad that we're here today getting this bill signed. Before I'm done, I just want to say that I did also receive an email from a constituent. And I got to tell you, it is very rare that I get constituent emails about joint budget committee bills. <laughs> but I got an email from a constituent telling me how OERs have been, for, how helpful they have been for them as a student. They said it took away the financial burdens and made access to education easier. OERs are a simple solution and makes it possible for students of uh, diverse backgrounds to excel in education. This bill is one step, but it's one big step towards our shared goal of equality in higher education and education throughout Colorado. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Honorable Angie Pachoni, for all of your work and all the folks represented here today. Excited to get this bill signed. Thanks.
Congratulations, everybody. Let's get Michelle signing. Thank you.